So this is the disassemble video for the Samsung Infuse. Before we actually get into the uh, disassemble itself, we're going to go over the tools that you'll need for the entire video, for all the repairs. You may or may not need all of these tools, but I'm just going to cover them all just to show you what I use. So first off, it's probably most important, is uh, our Phillips head screwdriver, size 1.5 by 50. Uh, that's going to be an important uh, important tool. And then I also use the eraser from the pencil. You can use any eraser uh, just to clean the contact points. I have two tweezers I actually use. I have uh, magnetic and non-magnetic. You can use one or the other. doesn't matter. Um, I find that sometimes when you're trying to grab certain things um, it's better if it doesn't stick or it's better if it does stick so I use them for certain things um, I have two guitar picks I tend to use bass guitar picks or instead of just normal guitar picks these are thicker and they tend to last long uh, they're more durable so um, so I use two of those and we have two flathead screwdrivers size 2 by 50 and I'll show you on the close-up that one of these is actually thinner. The top one is is has a finer uh, end on it, finer tip on it, and I use that for tighter spaces versus the bottom one. That's kind of a more general uh, uh, screwdriver. Still, still thin enough to get into places, but the top one I use for really tight uh, spaces. So those we'll go back to um, here, and I'll use uh, the toothbrush for water damage repairs or maybe cleaning dust and dirt out of the phone. You want to also use alcohol with this if you're doing the water damage repairs and if you're getting even further into the water damage you can use an ultrasonic cleaner with electronic solvent uh, solution. So that's for water damage. I have this uh, dental pick that I'll use to point things out um, also, sometimes I'll use it to you just use it as a pick in general, uh, maybe to clean in between uh, spaces, but mostly I'll use this as a uh, just a pointing tool. I have a eye loop that I use to inspect the board. Uh, this is a 10 time uh, eye loop. You can use you know any of they sometimes they come in packs of five or six and they have different um, uh, different strengths. Uh, this is 10 times you know you use it for inspecting the board for water damage. And uh, certain repairs just to make sure that uh, you can see uh, a little closer than the naked eye. And then for the charging connectors, SIM readers, those things I'll use in addition to the uh, in addition to my soldering station. I use a wick uh, to wick off the solder off of whatever I'm trying to uh, remove from the board. So this helps just to remove solder from the board. And then I'll also use a polyamide heat tape when I'm doing either the charging connector repairs or the switches. Anything I have to use the heat gun or the hair dryer for, um, I'll use this to tape the board to protect it. And then last but not least, I'll use this uh, PCB or, or printed circuit board holder just to keep the board in place while I'm working on it, it's not moving around and, and you know making it more difficult to try to do the repairs. So those are the majority of the tools I use. If you have most of those, you should be fine. And again, you could probably find most of those on eBay or at your local hardware store, uh, hobby shop, something like that. So we'll get into taking the phone apart. So with this, um, the Infuse, you'll wanna flip it around and remove the battery door. So up in this corner, you have a notch, and you're just gonna pinch there, slide it down, and that takes the battery door out. With the battery, you'll lift down here at the bottom, lift it upward, and slide it down, and that removes the battery. And then if you have either a SIM card or an SD card, uh, your memory card, you'll wanna remove uh, both of those as well. Then to actually get into the repair, you're going to have six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
you'll want to remove those six screws and set those aside. Now one thing you'll want to do right off the bat is keep everything in order. I even go as far as to put the screws that I remove in a specific order so I know what I've taken from where. You know, the, the, the last thing you want to have happen is you're taking the phone apart and then you go to put it back together and you can't uh, remember what screw went where or how something went back in. And you'll find on some phones that you almost need to know exactly how everything went in or um, you, know, you could end up damaging the phone. So just from now on, just remember to keep everything uh, in, in order. So in between the glass and the housing, you'll notice there's a small little gap. And actually starting the, the, the corner right here, I'll slide my pick right in that gap. And you kind of notice you get a little bit of separation. So once you do that, then I start playing leapfrog and I'll just put the pick down in that corner and notice that the, uh, the housing will start to separate. And then put the pick in that corner, take that one out. I put the pig in that corner and as you kind of work your way down you'll notice that you can separate the housing from the glass uh, and digitizer unit so once you get some separation you should be able to uh, you should be able to slide your pick kind of down the side and release all the contact points or all the points that hold it in place and if uh, you kind of want to do the same thing on this side move it up move it up and uh, should release that there you go so once you release that then you can slide the top just kind of wiggle it give it a slide down and that will release your board and LCD and everything from the uh, housing so you set the housing aside and then here we're going to uh, to remove the board out of the phone and uh, from this point once the board's out you'll be able to do most of the repairs on the phone so with that we have one screw right here we have another screw right here and then we have the LCD cable we have the ear speaker um, flex cable we have the front facing camera and we have the navigation cable right here so we're going to remove these four being careful of the components on the board the only thing you really want your screwdriver or your tweezers or whatever touching is just the underside of the cable itself and then lift straight up as to not damage the board itself so you have those three fourth one on the bottom and you can just kind of give it a push back so it keeps the plug out of the way uh, you don't you know when you're removing it you don't want to have the plug in the way and you'll end up damaging the uh, uh, the plug and then you may have to replace that so we'll take this top screw out and we'll take this bottom screw out and then the last thing that we will want to do is the camera you can get right down in that crack in between the board and the camera and make sure you get far enough down in there and what you can do is just use and pop it up and you'll want to be careful you don't damage the actual camera or the housing uh, that the camera is in. And that's why I use this really thin, uh, you know, really fine pointed screwdrivers to get in spots like that. So that's why I have those two. Um, so once you release all that, I can pinch right down here on this uh, on the bottom by the charging connector and just slowly kind of wiggle the, the board up. Once you get it wiggled up, you can slide it down, out, and that's how you disassemble the... Uh, the phone to get the board out to uh, start on the repairs.